today on Papa's Projects, we're heating our pool and it's probably gonna cost us around 10 bucks to get it from 45 degrees up to 90 degrees over a two to three week period. Right now, we are heating our pool at 80 to 81 degrees. Now, this one right here is the 120 volt, 17,000 BTU heat pump for the pool that I run on solar all day long. And then to bump it up, I run this 220 volt, 127,000 BTUs. That's a 12 and a half ton. That's my three and a half ton, and that's my four ton air conditioner. And those are little one ton heat pumps. This thing is costing me about two bucks a day to raise my pool temperature about five to six degrees, and then I hold it, running it on solar on this little one with that pool cover on there. And I'm only using, uh, it's about eight, 900 watts to run that pool heater right now. Now, I'm also on solar running my jacuzzi variable speed heat pump that I start running at seven o'clock in the morning and run till six, 6.30 at night right now. And that's all off of solar from my solar panels up here and all over the yard. They're everywhere on top of Perkless. So, by maybe between the 20 and the 25th of March, we should be able to get our pool up to 88 to 90 degrees, which is where we really like it to go swimming. And then we will be able to keep it at that temperature because the sun is going to be right now, it's half on my pool during after two o'clock in the afternoon and up till about 10, 11 o'clock in the morning, it's heating that solar cover on there. But in another week or so, it'll be almost completely in full sun and be able to keep that temperature along with that little 17,000 BTU heat pump running that all day long for 12 hours, 11, 12 hours. And that's all off of solar. So I'm not costing anything to run that that um 220 volt heat pump that i'm running that's on the uh grid that thing's cost to be if i run it three three and a half hours it's about two bucks to run that so once or twice a week i'll run that to bump the temperature up and then this thing just keeps it at that temperature whatever i have until i bump the temperature up again so if I didn't run that on grid 220 heat pump and I just ran that little one every day, I could keep that temperature at 81 degrees every day. I just really can't raise it up that much with this little one. And I didn't get it to raise the temperature because I have this monster. It'll cost me eight to $10 in the spring to heat my pool to 90 degrees when it's 45 50 degrees overnight and it's 75 to 85 degrees during the day this time of the year so you know 10 bucks to heat my pool and keep it at that temperature it's not bad at all so when i was running that thing every day for a year that was costing me in the winter time it was about 100 bucks a month to run that heat pump and like i said I'll be able to get the temperature up on this pool to 90 degrees. And with that little uh, heat pump that I paid 1200 bucks for, I'll be able to keep it at that temperature and won't have to worry about it. And then in April, I won't be paying anything to keep my pool heated at 90 degrees or after the 20, 25th of March, I won't be paying anything to heat my pool. It'll all be heated through the solar panels producing that power. So, 
But as you can see, we have oh yeah, we have solar panels up here. There's gonna be another row going on here pretty soon. Sun's getting to the point where it'll be able to hit it. But I have this is my west exposure. And I have all these panels. I've got 16 panels on top of those two pergolas. Those six. I got six here. Six here. I got uh, actually these four panels. I got four of those six panels hooked up to this to make uh, 2,000 watts or 2,500 watts. And I got all these panels right here as well. So not one panel is up on my roof so well the only thing we have up there is two solar vents um that are hybrid and i can run those off of electricity which is 50 watts on the grid or it's zero to have that thing run off the uh solar panel that is on top of it I can show you. There are the, there's one up there and there's the second one there. And we have 14 solar panels on top of these two pergolas. So we have plenty of, producing plenty of power to run this. Eventually, just got a 12 kilowatt grow watt off-grid inverter that surges to 36 kilowatts i have to hook that up but i'm gonna have to restring all my panels because it's only 150 volts on each mppt charge controller but the lady at um, signature solar said i could hook up 9,000 watts on the two separate strings so that would be 18,000 watts that i could hook up as long as I keep it 150 volts on each string, that's going to be hard. <laughs> so, but um, I'll probably hook up around 7,000 volts um, and keep it around 135, 140, or 7,000 watts and keep it around 135 to 140 volts. I don't want to surpass 150. So, anyways, we're looking forward to swimming next week. And like I said, we are, our pool temp right there is 81 degrees, and today is March 15th, so pretty good. We could actually go swimming in that, but to us, that's just a little chilly, so thanks for stopping by, welcome to our porch, and please like and subscribe, and we'll see you soon. Have a wonderful and blessed day.